I'm trying to hit a different one so that we show time. This is um, HARs. So showing time is the HAR free one. So this guy utilized, Stephen utilized the free HAR, excuse me, the HAR free one, which props to him. And it's just as easy for me to schedule. So again, if Stephen didn't utilize the free one, these people would be, I would have be calling or texting Stephen right now at 11 o'clock at night. Hmm, probably not a good idea because he's doubt he's going to respond, but I don't want to do it in the morning because I've got, you know, I've got things going on tomorrow morning and I want to do it right now, but I know Stephen wouldn't answer his phone. So another reason to use a showing service, again, Stephen probably doesn't want to get bothered at 11 o'clock at night or on a Sunday morning. Another reason to use a showing service. Two, Stephen might be on vacation at the beach with his family on Sunday morning or at church, and he's not going to respond or he's not going to be have a way to properly log these showings. Another reason to use showing service, especially when it's free. So Stephen is not getting bothered at all unless he chooses to get a notification on his phone when a showing happens. Um, and even then, it's just he can look at it and see who's who's looking at his houses. He doesn't have to relay to the seller, but then back to me, then back to the seller. The showing service does that for him. And I'm going to schedule. Uh, no, this is not the free har one. No, it's showtime. Sorry. Hopefully we'll hit a free one here soon. I don't know why it said that. Now it's still through the showing service. Anyway, well, I'm sure we'll hit the hard one here soon. Why more agents aren't taking advantage of, of the, um, of the free one is beyond me. I guess like kind of like me, I didn't want to switch to certain contract um, websites to do the contracts. Like I used to use zip forms and now y'all use dot loop and I had a hard time converting for your contracts because I just didn't old dog doesn't want to learn new tricks. Um, okay, so pecan, uh, so I'm on to Thompson. Right here, I want to do two to two thirty. Uh, two to two thirty. Looks like, by the way, things are going. I am going to have to stop for Starbucks on that after that second home. It gave me instant approval. Supra front door on hose bib. Um, so what that tells me is there's a Supra. So I need my phone, my cell phone with that my Supra app on it. If you don't know how to use your Supra app, um, we'll go over another Zoom. But um, if you need it immediately, then, or you know you're gonna show a house soon, just call me and I'll walk you through it. It's not very difficult at all. Uh, you need the Supra Key app on your phone. And um, so you get your Supra Key access information from HAR. So those are the people you paid your hefty dues to. They also run your Supra. So the Supra app on your phone, we used to have like a second cell phone that Har would give us. Good thing you guys aren't doing the business then because that was a pain because there was never any signal on that thing and it was a pain and it ran out of battery all the time. This app on your phone allows you to access it on your, on your smartphone. You had to put in your private code. It's, it's the Supra key app right here. I don't know if y'all can see that right there at the top. When you click it, it allows you to go in and you can actually hit obtain key, which is right there. It's a big button. And then you type in your code. You have to press the bottom of the super box to wake up the super box at the front door or it will not wake up. That's like pressing the home button on your old iPads. You have to press the bottom of the button of the box pretty hard and that wakes it up, it starts beeping at the, at the top with a little red light, and then you hit your code. And then when you're done with the code, you hit the bottom of the box again, and then you hit it and then it falls out. So it goes one click and then it falls out. And in that little cup that falls out, the bottom is the key and reverse it to put it back in. You don't need your code to put it back in. You put the key in it and then you shove it back in the box. Okay. So I write down Supra, on hose bib. So um, hose bib is, is the hose that 
you know, the hose thing that they use to water their lawn with. Now the faucet. Now, why didn't they put it on the front door? Probably because the owner was tired of it being on the front door because sometimes it's hard to open your front door handle when it's on the front door. So that's why I'm sure. Back to property listing. I know, I know, I know I'm talking a lot, but there's a lot to go over. Um, this one uh, is showing time again. Okay. So let me show you guys what I could have done. Maybe it would have made my life easier. I just didn't think all these would be showing time, but that might've been a reason why to go over all this. Ooh, coffee in the mornings. Yes, I love coffee in the mornings. Um, show time. Click. I probably should have just added it to my cart and then I could have done all these at once. Um, but again, if they're not all showtime, then anyway, I didn't know they were all showtime. Usually they're not. So that doesn't usually work. Anyway, it's not that bad. So this one is um, 2.30. So I want to do this one from 3 to 3.30. 2.30. Sorry. Um, I did no, I did two to two thirty. So I want to do it from two thirty to three. Two, two thirty every thirty minutes. So two thirty to three. Two. Sorry, two thirty to that's the start time. This is the end time to three. Uh, you could add the buyer name. That's optional. I don't always do that. Um, request appointment. If it was the HAR free one, it would be the same thing. You would click request appointment and it would show up on a different uh, website server and you would go through the same process of scheduling the showing. And then it's the same thing. Once the approval happens, they'll text you and email you the instructions. Okay. So... That's C6. Oh, sun catcher. Oh, that was the pending one. So that's why I didn't print that one. So no, I'm not gonna show this one. So I hope I did you well. And please let me know if you have any questions. And thank you very much.